What's up, YouTubers? So I'm just gonna light a little candle. I am hiding in my bathroom right now to do this voiceover because the kids are getting ready for school and it's really loud and crazy. So I'm gonna show you how to make some simmer pots with some items that you probably have already at home. Just some of these items here. We'll go over all of them. Just real basic kitchen cookery stuff. First, let's get a cup of coffee. Spilled it there, it's okay. I like to add a little bit of creamer with my coffee. There was a little puppy here like, are you making yummy food? Some creamer for my coffee. I don't know if you guys have ever made simmer pots at home, but I just really, really like being able to make my house smell really good with stuff that I have in my kitchen. It has been snowing here, it seems like, for 14 years straight. Really ready for spring to happen. Let's go get some stuff outside for our simmer pots. I like to sometimes just go get a little piece of our spruce tree that's outside. It smells super, super delicious in the simmer pots. Here's some of the spruce that we went out to get. Whether it's fir, spruce, cypress, or pine, you're sure to benefit from the uplifting, invigorating forest aromas that this brings. It's really crisp and clean and woodsy. I don't know, it smells like Christmas to me. It's also known to help instill peace and a calming mood. Next, we have cinnamon. Whether it's whole cinnamon or ground cinnamon, many people enjoy the scent of cinnamon and just find it really relaxing and kind of nostalgic. Next up is nutmeg. It's just a nice woody smell and it has a nice uplifting aroma. You can also use the nutmeg powder, the ground nutmeg that come in the little spice containers at the store too if you don't have the whole nutmeg. They're just really pretty. You could probably add them in whole if you wanted to, but I just kind of use a little cheese grater and do mine into the simmer pot. Okay, next we have clove. Clove has a warm, friendly scent that plays well with like all of the other scents. I like to put clove in all of my simmer pot concoctions. Next is the pumpkin pie spice. You guys, you can totally use this in any simmer pot and make it smell like autumn. It's just great. Same with vanilla. It's just a nice uplifting splash. I don't know, it just smells yummy. And if you like the smell of vanilla, just throw it in your simmer pot. All right, so next we have apples. And apples may help emotions positively, helping reduce headaches. And it just smells delicious. Next, we're gonna do oranges. You guys, oranges uplift your mood and it reduces stress by adding a fresh citrusy um, aroma to your home. It just smells good, airy, sunshiny. Same with lemon. Lemon is said to promote concentration and has a calming, clarifying property and um, can also help when you're feeling anxious, run down, or angry. All of them just smell really light and nice. Okay, my simmer pot always looks like this. I don't wash it because that ring around it that just kind of cooks on there um, never comes off. <laughs> so don't judge me on my, my little simmer pot that I use. So just use a cup or two of water. Just use your discretion. I just like mine to cover the stuff that I'm putting in the simmer pot. Go ahead and pour that into your simmer pot. You can fill your simmer pot first and then pour the water on it. I just like to do mine. Um, before so I can see I, here's why because I like to take pictures of my simmer pots and put them on Instagram and I want to see where like the clove is gonna float and just make it pretty for a picture 
All right, once you have your water in your simmer pot, go ahead and cut up the ingredients or grind them or, or whatever it is that you're gonna put in your simmer pot. Do the appropriate method of putting them in there. So we're cutting up this lemon first. I like to do them in big chunks. As they simmer all day, they're gonna break down. And then we just last a little bit longer and look a little bit nicer if you cut them into the thicker chunks. Next, we're gonna cut up the oranges. Now, if you have a bigger orange, you could probably just use one orange. These are some smaller oranges. So I decided to use three of the smaller oranges. I like to do the orange and lemon simmer pots when I have a lot of cleaning or cooking or food prep to do for the day. Just gives you a nice little pep in your step. Oh, I'm so sorry for all the noise. I'm hiding in the bathroom so you guys don't have to hear all of it. All right, we're cutting up our last orange here. You guys, these are so simple. Just literally open your spice cabinet in your kitchen and see what you have. Throw something together. Even if you just have cinnamon and maybe a splash of vanilla, put it in there. If you don't have whole fruits or whole cloves or any of that, put some water in a little pot, throw some cinnamon in it, or even some, some allspice, some pumpkin pie spice, and a splash of vanilla, I promise it will smell amazing. Here's our fruit all cut up, ready to go into the simmer pot. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So you can see I'm kind of strategically placing these in here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely see all the pictures of my simmer pots. I mean, nothing against the, the oils. I know a lot of people like to diffuse the oils. We even have a diffuser, but um, we also have cats and dogs. So we like to do it as natural as possible. Yes, I know oils are natural, but some of them are toxic to your animals. So it's just a, a better alternative. See, here's the cloves. Then I can see where they're gonna float and make sure that they're placed where I want them for my picture. Cloves just smell really good. Some people really dislike the smell of cloves, but I really, really like it. Okay, now we're gonna add in our cinnamon stick. Again, if you don't have whole cinnamon sticks, just sprinkle some cinnamon in there. So pretty. I have no filter on this clip right here. It's just the natural colors of the stuff that we chose for this simmer pot. At the very end, I'll show you a couple of the other simmer pots using some of the other ingredients in case those are some things that you want. See, it's just so pretty. I cannot wait for, for spring and summer. That's what those oranges and lemons remind me of. Okay, so I'd like to put it on a, a low, medium, low to medium heat. And then once it really gets warm and you can start smelling it, then I turn it down on low or simmer. And I let this go all day. Make sure you check it. So if your water runs out, um, you're not catching stuff on fire or burning it, because that will not have a pleasant smell. Just, and, and if it runs out of water, just add more water to it. Easy peasy. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. See? All right, let's look at some of the other simmer pots I've done. This one is the spruce, apple, um, cinnamon, and some dried oranges that I had. Super pretty, smelled really good, smelled a lot like Christmas. This one is spruce, um, lemon, orange, and cinnamon. You guys, after you're done with your simmer pot, if there's any water left over, if you wanna like wipe your counters down with the, the water, smells delicious. Um, this is my daughter Ricky smelling the spruce that we picked for one of those pots. You guys, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I do lots of really cool things, lots of DIYs. I show everybody how to save money and make money, and I would love to have you as part of the community. There's also my Facebook page. Both of them are Nothing Fancy by Tanya Gray. Come hang out with us, come chat, and we'll have lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. It truly means a lot to me. Um, if you could, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.